Tips video, I'm going to once again take you inside my computer and inside my Ravelry account to show you how to do different things on Ravelry. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to add a project, which is a simple enough thing, but really important on Ravelry. Um, we're all putting in all of this information and we're able to get information back out and you don't even know the tiniest thing about needle size or yarn amounts that you use could actually really help another person. And the projects that we add and the information that we add to our notebooks is really the building blocks of the community and the information that's shared. And depending on the time you have or the, the amount of information you're willing to share, you can share more or less. I'm going to walk you through the steps um, for adding a project and we'll go through the different options that you have. Let's go ahead and take a look. I'm here on my notebook page and I'm going to click on add project here at the top of the page. And for this first field it says name your project and I can name the pattern anything at this point. It's my own name. I'm going to say mom's cowl. Um, the craft is knitting and this pattern is available on website or download. The next field, name of pattern, you actually have to put the name of the real pattern in, which is sixes and threes cowl. And the pattern source, you can leave this blank. I happen to know that Very Pink did this pattern. And once I have that filled out, I click continue. And once this page comes up, it's going to show me, I don't know why it's taking so long. There we go. It shows me the search results. You know, cause if I put in part of a pattern name, it would give me more search results. But there's only one pattern called Sixes and Threes on Ravelry. And that's the pattern there, sure enough. So I'm going to choose that pattern. And then it takes me to kind of the project page for this pattern. And this is where I have the option to fill in a whole bunch of stuff or not very much stuff. The name is Mom's Cowl. I can say who I'm making it for, link to a Raveler, the size I made. The pattern name is already in there. Um, and tags, this is helpful if other people are looking for things or you want to find something in your own pattern. I can type in Cowl Stripes and then click this tag button and it gives me suggested tags that I can select if I like. I'm going to click past that. Here I'm going to add the needle size that I use. Again, if you don't know, you can leave any or all of this blank and just add the barest minimum of things. And I can click Add Yarn here. And I'm going to type in, I'm going to type in part of a yarn name. You can type in the whole thing, but I'm going to type in part to show you that I get this whole this whole selection of yarns that that's the one I used was the wet gems fingering. Um, actually, that, I think that might be a different one. It's fine. There we go. Yes. I can select the colorway and the closest color, and it gives me choices for dye lot and everything else, where I purchased it, the purchase date, the total paid, etc. And also, um, because this project has multiple yarn colors used, I would want to click Add Yarn and go through those steps again, choosing the other colorway. This, this pattern actually uses three colors, so I'll go through it three times, choosing the different colorways. And then when I get down here to the notes, I can type in anything I want. Now, anyone can read what I type here, but they can be personal notes of um, something I want to remember. You know, remember that um, if I want to knit another one of these to add two inches, whatever. Any notes for myself here, or I can um, let other people on Ravelry know any modifications I made to the pattern or how much I enjoyed knitting it. Um, the notes are for anything, but just realize that anyone can read them. Up here, I can select the status of the project, and I'm going to give it a big smiley happy face because I really enjoyed it. Uh, when I started and completed the pattern, I don't always enter those things, but um, you have the option of entering all this stuff. You can give a star rating to the pattern and a difficulty rating. Click Save Changes, and then you go up here to a very important thing in Ravelry, which is to add photos. And this is loading, but it's going to give me the option of selecting a photo from my files. I'll want to have a photo already taken and ready to go to add here. So I'm going to collect, select Choose Files. I think the page is actually still loading. 
I'm not sure why things got so slow. And there's the file I want. I can you know, search around for it if I need to. Open. And then I'll click Upload for Ravelry to upload this file. There's one more thing that I want to show you in this section while this is uploading. Not while it's uploading, once it's uploaded. You have the option of selecting several files at once and uploading them, or I'm just doing one at a time. And it's a good thing I'm only doing one at a time because this just got really pokey. OK. It is resizing the photo right now, and there we go. The thing I want to show you is that we have um, this little box appears at the bottom of the photo, and you're able to slide it around to center the photo exactly how you want it. So I'll get it just how I want it, and then stop clicking and dragging, and it'll stay there. And I, when I go back to the photo, the pattern details, the photo shows up. And if I select a whole bunch of photos, they'll all show up here on the pattern page. Anyway, I hope that helps. Again, it's totally your choice to enter as much or as little information about the patterns that you're knitting, but we all appreciate the nice photos of the finished knits for sure. Good luck.